Hi, this is Dr. Paul Chasen at Ranch and Coast Plastic Surgery. Um, I'm demonstrating the K-wire fixation technique that I developed over 20 years ago and still use it and think it's the best fixation technique for endoscopic brow lifts. I give lectures on the K-wire fixation technique all the time and then it's always like, well, do you have a video of it? Because I never understand it. So here's the video. We take a K-wire. It's a 0 0.35 hundredths of an inch, okay? And we use a 16 gauge needle. So stuff everybody has. You see, and you'll have to zoom in, you'll see that the K wire protrudes about five millimeters, okay? And the 16 gauge needle provides a sheath for this to go in. So I have it locked here with my hand so the needle's not going anywhere and now the 16 gauge needle is being used as a protective sleeve. The typical fixation point would be from lateral alent through pupil to hairline, okay? And that's not uncommon. Sometimes I do both. The danger zone is in the midline because the saddle sinus lives right here. I, did, I, did, I looked up, there's a ton of studies that show calvarial thicknesses and the outer deploy average is about five millimeters. Uh, in there. So when you feel a give, you're still in the, you're going through the outer deployment. So again, I'm going to just take this K wire to the hub of the K wire, take the loose cap off, and you automatically have five millimeters. Okay? Now I'm going to go right here, right on the other side of the midline. Now you see here's the trick where everybody gets a little confused. I'm pushing down with the needle. And with the needle and the K-wire, I drag up. And you see how that movement goes? Now, you see the gap between the needle, the hub of the needle, and the K-wire. I've got it fixed. And I put, now I put the, my hand in my belly. And I go in until either there's a give, which there's a give, or this gets to the hub of the needle. Then I know I'm done. And out this comes, okay? Again. We cut this off here, about that long. We use a tonsil suction. We just, about five millimeters above the skin, so we don't injure the skin. And out that comes, and we're done. So that if you have a complete release, the K-wire fixation takes a couple of minutes. Um, it's cheap, you have a K-wire, we all use, the only thing expensive kind is this K-wire driver, and you can get one on a used market for like $2,000, okay? And most, most practices have a K-wire driver. So that's the K-wire fixation technique. It's cheap, it's effective, and it takes about two minutes.